In this video, I'm going to show you how to slice up your images exactly so you can export them in one shot and then upload all those images straight into Instagram and get a nice Instagram carousel. All of this in around about five minutes. Let's get started. So I have this panorama that I took with my DJI Air 3S of uh, basically nearly the whole city of uh, Dortmund in the middle and then also then uh, the, the far right hand side of it. Now I want to cut this up into individual uh, images. So uh, inside of this, we uh, edit the image in um, Camera Raw or whatever, however you want it to be. Then you need to open it up in uh, Photoshop. Okay, so the first thing that we've got to do is uh, basically split it in uh, to the amount of images that you want, all right? So um, the image width, the best image width for Instagram for this uh, scenario is always 1,080 uh, pixels. So if we come to the image size here, first of all, and put it to pixels. Now I'm no expert in Photoshop. You can see here, this is a huge image, 11,792, all right? So I've, I want to be able to cut this down into a, a amount of images. So let's come to the crop tool first of all, and you can see this is the one I did before was 5,400 pixels in width and 1,350 pixels in height but we're still missing an, an image here. So because that was for five images. So we really need to add 1,080 to this. So let's just do uh, uh, 6,400 and then just do 6,480. There we can see uh, we, we're going to cut off a little bit on the, the uh, left and right, but um, I prefer, prefer it to cut to the right here. So this is where we're going to cut the image down. Now we know that we've got this uh, equal uh, width in the equal size in width. Okay. And so what we can do now is come to uh, view guides, a new guide layout. Okay. And here we want to have six images. So we can say six uh, columns and it, it may have um, the gutter here as well. So if you say like 50 on the gutter, it's going to put 50 between uh, here, the, these middle ones, but we don't want that. We want, don't want to lose any image. We just remove then the gutter and margin is self-explanatory. It will make a gutter here as well. And so this is now uh, how, how we want it. So we can uh, click OK on this because we now know uh, what uh, images, what images each one's going to be. OK, so the next thing to do is we need to slice this into pieces. Um, so we want to come to this slice tool. And what was going to happen here is slices from guides. This is what you used to do. So now that we've uh, created all these slices, the next thing that we want to do is uh, export save for web legacy. Now, there might be another way of doing this, but up until now, the only way I've found is to do save for web legacy. I've, I've tried export as, but you can't do this uh, slices part else or else. If, if someone else knows how to do this, then please feel free to let me know. <laughs> uh, so we just do save for web. And we just scroll out to make sure we've got all of the images selected. And we select the first one, hold shift down, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And unnamed here. Next, we want to make sure that we select a JPEG. And we want 100%. Don't want progressive, don't want optimized, don't want any of this, don't want blur. Uh, this is all okay. We see the image size here is 6480. All right, so it's the six images times six times uh, 1080, and then 3050 for heights for all of them. And then here you can see here it says tip use a file export export as or right click on the layer for fast way yeah okay learn more so now we can come here and we want to um, just uh, change the uh, the image name this is what each image is going to be all right and we're going to make just another folder just say example here and we're going to go inside uh, this one folder here and then just do save, you've got to make sure you do all uh, images only, not HTML and images, okay? Otherwise, you're going to have a website made out of it. And we'll do save. And once that's done, we can come to the folder and we can see here that in our example for example folder, we have all of the, the original image names here and then with a, uh, a suffix of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. So when you look at these images, you can see here it's nicely uh, cut up and so on you can go through obviously uh, do all of the color corrections all of that stuff uh, beforehand before you uh, upload to Instagram and all you have to do now is upload these to Instagram make sure that you change the sizes um, for it and stuff and that's basically it so uh, I hope you've got something out of this video I'm not a Photoshop master I'm not uh, anything like that 
I just like to pass on my knowledge uh, when I get it. I did uh, uh, learn this from other uh, videos on, on YouTube, but maybe you find my, my way a little bit better or uh, maybe there's another way you can find it better as well either way as long as you know how to slice your panoramas now that's the only thing that i really uh, really care about and have any concern about with that said don't forget to like subscribe share and do all of the other social media things that you can possibly do out there if you do have any questions feedback or concerns uh, about this let's start a conversation in the comment section down below i'm not a photoshop expert so don't ask me technical questions about it because i probably won't know it and I'll likely just put the, the question into ChatGPT and uh, tell you uh, or copy and paste that answer to it. So uh, just any feedback on the pictures or stuff like that is, is fine. But Photoshop questions, I'm really not, not the one uh, to, to do that. And I won't be doing any other more Photoshop videos. Uh, just when it's re directly related to exporting stuff for Instagram or stuff like that. Or if you've done drone footage and you need to export specific things. I don't mind it if it's attached to drones and stuff. Um, okay, thank you very much for watching. Ciao, ciao and goodbye.